What do I love about the IQ 250? I don't even know where to begin. My name is Sal Sincata and I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based in Illinois. I was exposed to photography at a very early age in my life. At 16, uh, my aunt had shown me photography. She had a dark room in her basement. Uh, she used to take me out and just let me shoot away with it with the camera, and it didn't really matter what I was getting. Uh, I had photographed my first wedding at about 17 years old and hated every single minute of it. And the reason is simple. Back in the 1980s, it was not cool or fun. Uh, to be a wedding photographer. Everything was very stiff, very traditional, and my passion, my true passion, uh, was landscape and architecture. And so it was really interesting now to be a wedding photographer looking back uh, at my roots, so to speak, because in my work today, you can absolutely see that architecture plays a major influence on my work that I produce, not only for myself, but for my clients. And so, fast forward another 20, 25 years, uh, I once again revisited wedding photography, only this time, now in 2006, 2005, it was cool to be a wedding photographer. You were creating memories for people uh, for a lifetime, things that they would hang on their walls and look at as pieces of art, more than just a snapshot. And it was that thought, if you will, that drew me back into becoming uh, a wedding photographer. And please understand, I started in corporate America. So I went off to business school, thought I was going to be an attorney, started uh, photographing just weddings on the side, portraits on the side, and I soon realized I loved photography. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to be. Going to work, working in a cubicle just sucked. That was not my future. That was not my passion. I am doing today what I was born to do, and that is being a wedding and portrait photographer. I'm really about the big architectural portrait. I want to create what I call a signature edit for my client. It's that piece of art that they're hanging on the wall. When they have friends and family over, they're looking at that and it's this beautiful picture of a bridge. It's this beautiful picture of a landscape. It's this beautiful picture in the middle of the street. And their friends go, oh my God, that's a beautiful picture. Oh wow, you're in it. I gotta be honest, when I first spoke to the people at phase one about the IQ 250, uh, I was a bit snobbish about the whole thing and, and definitely pessimistic. I just felt like there was no possible way that the phase one was going to match the quality that I was getting from my 35 millimeter system. It was just, it was impossible, right? And it was too expensive. So any quality that could be gained just wasn't worth the extra price. And uh, I got my hands on one and right after I took the first frame, all I could think about was how I had to have this camera. I, I didn't want to let my excitement show. I wanted to play my cards close to the chest. But when I saw that first image come off the camera, I was blown away at the quality. I mean, you got to think about it. 14 stops of dynamic range. There is no other camera out there I know of that has that true dynamic range, that true quality, right? It's not just about megapixels anymore. It's about having quality uh, come back from every photograph you make. 14 stops of dynamic range is just the beginning. Now you've got low light performance in the IQ 250, up to 6400 ISO. Again, I played pessimist. I took, I, I'm like, there's no way this camera's gonna perform in low light. So we tested it. And we didn't just test it and look at the back of the camera. We tested it, loaded it up in, the, in Capture One, and then zoomed in to look at the detail, to look at the noise. And once again, blown away by the quality of these images. It produced nothing but usable images from ISO 100 to ISO 6400. That's the level of quality and performance that I need to know with confidence that I can perform, capture, document a day in a way that's gonna allow me and my studio to stand out from the crowd and produce superior quality imagery for our clients. My advice to anyone considering the medium format platform is to think about if you're committed to producing a superior quality image. It doesn't matter where you are in your career, whether you're just starting out, whether you're looking to, uh, whether you're a five-year studio looking to reinvent yourself. The IQ 250 is truly groundbreaking in what it's offering us as photographers. It's offering us a freedom and a level of quality never before available to us.